Welcome back. This is the last part of creating a website for your students using Google Sites. Again, I apologize for the abruptness, but this is it. Good luck creating the rest of your site. I'm going to go back and we'll notice that now it says welcome up here. I'm going to click on edit page right here. And I don't really want a lot of this welcome to our family tips. So I'm going to go ahead and just select a lot of this and just delete it. So I hit the backspace key there. Um, I can hit the delete key right here. Um, now these uh, little gadgets are great. They fill in. Um, in fact, I do use the Google Calendar gadget. But for right now, I'm just going to remove everything. Remove. Now, notice that on these templates they have great links on how to replace this calendar with your own. So if you do plan on using a calendar, um, on these templates they just they do have great things. I'm going to remove that too. Alright, so on this welcome I can, I'm actually just going to copy my little welcome message in here. Control copy. Um, and I'll paste that right in there. So you'll notice that the text color is not the correct one. So I'm going to change this, and to change the text color, it's right here. I just click on that, and I'll change it to black. Perfect. So now I have my, uh, my website, kind of, uh, it's coming along. So I'm going to hit save right there. All right, well, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the logo that was at the top there. It's in my family, and that kind of looked bad. So I'm going to go into the Manage Site um, and click on Site Layout, and I'm going to change the, uh, the header, the logo. So I'm going to click Change Logo, and I actually already changed it. But you'll see uh, in here, whatever your default logo is, it says My Family or something. If you don't want any type of a logo, you can choose My Logo. But I found this nice little image. So I'm going to download it to my desktop. So I'm going to find it on here. It's teacher.gif. I'll click open. Then I'll click OK. And I'm going to save changes. So now when I return to my site, it no longer says um, up here my family or whatever. It has teacher. And you can find, you know, many different images, whatever. I'm just going to use this as my default image. Um, all right. So now we have the the main page here. I have my classes, I have my navigation bar. Um, I'm going to show you how to insert an image over here and it's the same way on any of the pages. So I'm going to click on edit page to edit this page. Um, and then right up here there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can do. Um, and one of the things that I can do is I can click insert and then hit image. So I'm going to select image and then it gives me all the images that I have uploaded already. Um, if I want to do choose like a web address of a, of a particular image I could do that or I can upload an image. So I'm going to actually upload an image. Um, I'm going to click on files. I'm just going to navigate here. Um, I'm going to just upload the same thing that I uploaded for my uh, little logo up here um, and I'll resize it. But you know you can upload any image that you want. So I'll click OK and I'll hit OK. So now that I have this in here, um, I can do a couple of things. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is I want this image to be aligned to the right over here. Um, that's good. Now I get to choose the size. If I wanted to resize this, which I do, I can go small, medium, or large. So I'm going to actually stick with medium right there, so align to the right. And then I have this wrapper. Wrapper means if I want text over here, which I do. So I actually want to turn the wrapper on. All right, and that looks perfect. Okay, so now I have my little uh, spiel over here, and I have an image. That image isn't obviously very good quality, but whatever. You know, you can insert whatever kind of image you want in there. Um, so, like on my main list website, I have an image of the school. So, yeah, that's how I did it. All right, I'm going to save this page, and we're going to move on to the next. So you can go down to your classes here and your contacts. All right, so we're coming right along on this site. 
we have the top all saved and our home page is looking good we have all of our pages created and our navigation bar over here is all set up so the last thing we need to do is just go to the individual pages and add some content to them so I'm gonna go to class one for instance um, now you'll notice right down here that I have attachments and comments um, if I wanted to oh, I'm gonna click if I wanted to get rid of those, if I didn't want to attach anything or have comments, I can click on more actions right here, um, and then I can go down to page settings, and I don't want to allow comments. I'm actually going to show you how to add an attachment, so I do want to allow attachments. I don't want to really show links, and but I do want to show the title, and I'll hit save. If I wanted to change the URL or something, I could do that in here. I'll hit save. Alright, so comments are gone. Um, really, there's no reason to have comments unless you're, uh, you know, uh, creating like a blog or something like that. Um, if you were doing a blog, I would actually recommend using a Blogger or WordPress, another program like that. Um, they tend to work better. Um, the announcement section on Google is pretty good, um, but the comments, eh, it, get, it, it doesn't work as well as some other sites, so... Alright, so now that I have that, I'm actually going to uh, add a calendar to this, just like I have on my website. So I'm going to click on Edit Page here, um, and I'm going to insert, and I can go right down here. Now, just like we inserted an image, I'm going to insert a calendar. Um, if I wanted to insert a document or something like that, uh, this is a great way to show to your students live documents. If you have a document up that you're editing and stuff like that, just view documents and then they'll be able to view it. Map, photos, uh, there's a bunch of stuff on here. But we're actually going to go down to um, calendar right here. So I'm going to insert calendar. Now I'm just going to select one of my pre-made calendars for my classes. Um, to create a calendar, I just... Cancel. To create a calendar, just go to google.com backslash calendar. Um, and here's my calendar. If I wanted to add another calendar to this, I could just click on add right here and then title the calendar name and uh, create all that. Um, I'm assuming that you know how to create a calendar already. If you don't, there are plenty of tutorials out there. Uh, but I'm going to assume that you know how to create a calendar in here and you've already had one created. And that calendar has a list of daily events that's going on in your class. So I'm going to... So I'm going to go back to my website, and I'm going to click on uh, Calendar from Insert, and I'm going to select the calendar that I want. I might as well just select Graphic Arts here, so I'm going to press the Select button. Now here's where you can change the height and a lot of the display options in the view. Um, I tend to, on the view, try to select Agenda rather than Month. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select Agenda, um, and I like to keep all the display options the same. Uh, usually I just click Save uh, right here, and then uh, I adjust the height and width uh, as need be. So I click Save, and now I have my calendar in here. Um, when I click the R button, it moves to the right. I can center it, uh, just like the other. I can turn wrap on or off, so I can type over there. Um, if I do want to actually type over there, so I'm going to click wrap on. Uh, now to see what this calendar looks like, I'm going to hit save, and I can take a look at that calendar. It looks like it's a little bit smushed up, so I'm going to want to uh, edit that. You can see. So I'm going to click on Edit Page uh, to change some of the width and the height. Um, I click back on the calendar gadget. I hit Properties, and I'm going to want to change the height and width. So the height, and eh, that looked a little high for me. I'm, I'm going to change it to 400. And the width, uh, well, let's just... Uh, Go ahead and enter 400 for that too. Let's just see how this looks. So I'm going to hit save, take a look at the gadget. It looks like it's still getting cut off a little bit over there. So I'm going to hit edit page again, click on the gadget, click properties, and change the width. I'll change this to 600. All right, I'll hit save. That should be good. Looks perfect. Excellent. So now I want to fill in over here. Underneath my class one, I have a uh, 
you can see on mine I have like the calendar and then on this side I have worksheets and links and all kinds of stuff on my page so all right I'm gonna go ahead and type in uh, worksheets and no actually uh, you should upload your worksheets the way that I do it is a little bit roundabout way uploading your worksheets to the attachments is a great way to do it I'm gonna change this to links so we can create a link and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, let's create a link to Google. So I'll type in Google. Now I'm going to select the word. I'm going to click on the link button. Uh, because this isn't an existing page, it's a web address. I'm going to click on web address and then I'm just going to type in uh, google.com. The reason that I'm clicking open in a new window, I always click that. It's just because when you click on the link, I like it to open in a new window, but your page still remains in the background. All right, so now I'm gonna create, I'll create a link to maybe the contact page. So I'll type in contact, select it, and now on my existing page, I'll just click contact. So now, when I save this, I can click on Google, and I will just go to the Google site and it opened it in a new window. So I can close that, and then when I click on contact, it goes to the contact page. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so now I want to show you how to um, add an attachment. Um, so to add attachments, I click on that attachment right down here. Now, your viewers to the website won't see this, but because you're the administrator, you do. You can choose a file and select from your desktop or wherever you have your file saved, select a uh, file that you want. So I'm just going to select README. This is just a file, and it will automatically upload it and store it. Now, anybody that views your website will be able to uh, access that file. This is a great way to upload like works sheets or documents so that your students have access to them. Um, like I said before though, they won't have the option to remove um, the worksheet, but they will have the option to download it. Well, there we go. Uh, now that I have class one, I could go to class two, class three, I'm not going to um, add all those. But I will show you how to do the, on my contact page, I have this little gadget. I'll show you how to add an extra gadget. So on the contact page here, um, I'm going to click on edit page, I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to scroll down to, um, now I have all these Google gadgets, which are great, but um, a lot of times they don't have everything that you want, so you click on more gadgets, and these are all third-party gadgets that have been created. There's tons in here. So if you just search for email, um, you'll find a bunch of different ways to uh, contact people. Uh, there you can send a text message, you can access uh, any uh, your email box, you can have an anonymous emailer that an emails you anonymously. So there's lots of different gadgets that you can choose from. Uh, one of the gadgets that I chose was uh, an emailer. So uh, I allow my students to send me an email. I'm just going to just select a random gadget here to just show you how it works. And I can click on that gadget and do the same thing before. I can align it left, right, center. I can turn wrap on or off so I can type to the... And then I'll just hit save to take a look at what it looks like. All right. Well, that's it. I mean, this is uh, this is looking like a great website for our students. Um, I showed you how to create gadgets, links, and uh, pretty much everything. So I'm gonna let's see what this actual website looks like for your students. So I'm gonna click on manage site, click on web address. Um, we can see right here actually all the revision history and things that I've changed. Uh, you can see if I wanted to like go back and I didn't want to save something, I can click more actions, revision history, and I can actually go to an earlier version of the website if I accidentally deleted something. I'm gonna click on web address and I'm gonna copy the uh, web address of the site. I'm gonna sign out so I get to view the website uh, like one of my students or one of your students would. I'm gonna Paste that in there, hit enter, and there we go. There is the website. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it helps your students succeed in your class.